Hey internet, just humour me for a second and follow along. Press the Windows key on your keyboard and then type WinVer, W-I-N-V-E-R, and press enter. If you see something like this, then this video is not for you. Carry on with your day. Thank you for watching. Alternatively, if your keyboard looks more like this and there's no Windows key, then you're probably on a Mac. This video is also not for you. Carry on. Thank you for your attention. If, however, you see this, then this video is for you. And I'll explain why in a second. Hey, Gareth here from QCT, the tech guy with the Tash and the plan to help you have confidence in your IT. Microsoft have announced that they're going to be stopping support and security updates for Windows 10 in October 2025. So as of the recording of this video, you've got 12 months to work out what you're going to do about that. Essentially, it doesn't need to be painful and it doesn't need to be problematic, but you've got four options for what to do. I'm going to go through those now. Option one is do nothing. Now, obviously do nothing is not really an option because it's an instant uh, compliance failure. So if you give a monkeys at all about uh, security, the security of your data or your customer data or your supplier data even, um, or if you've got Cyber Essentials or CE Plus or any sort of ISO accreditation, um, doing nothing is not really an option. So we'll move swiftly on. Option two. If your computer's got all of the prerequisites that are required to run Windows 11, then we could do an update. We could go from 10 to 11, no new system, you know, no problem, no hassle. However, we would need to just verify there are certain things that Windows 11 needs that Windows 10 doesn't necessarily need. So we need to just make sure that the, uh, the system's got enough oomph uh, and then it's going to work for you going forward. Option three. So option three is to replace the existing kit. Um, so if doing nothing isn't an option, which it isn't, uh, and upgrading isn't possible, maybe because the process is not up to it or, or something else with the machine is not, is not quite right, then what we're looking at is replacing your current kit with something nice, new and shiny. So obviously this is a fairly good option because you end up with a nice new bit of kit. It's probably going to be faster and more efficient than your current bit of kit and have more memory and more storage and that sort of stuff. So actually, longer term, this is probably the best plan. And finally, we have option four, which is to pay Microsoft an absolute arm and a leg for extended support. Now, you're going to expect to pay more than you would pay for a new PC or a new laptop at this point, more than likely. So again, as with option one, this isn't really an option. The only time I'd consider it is, say for example, you're an engineering company and you've got a you know, 100 grand CNC milling machine, and that milling machine will only work with Windows 10. At that point, it might be worth paying for the extended support rather than replacing a machine. However, there are very few use cases where I think this is the right option. So in conclusion, if you're currently running Windows 10, you need to get up to Windows 11. You've got 12 months to do it, but really, let's get a plan in place now. Let's get everything moving, get the ball rolling. Um, there are two sensible options. One is to evaluate your current kit and see whether it's actually suitable to be upgraded from Windows 10 to Windows 11. The other option is to go out and get some new kit. Again, doing that over a phase period is probably going to work better for everyone's cash flow, so worth thinking about now. So if you're currently on Windows 10, or other people in your organisation are on Windows 10, it might be worth giving me a shout. We can have a chat, we can look at what you've got, look at what the options are, come up with some costings, come up with some budgets, and see if there's a way that we can move you forward. I'm Gareth from QCT, the tech guy with the Tash. Thank you very much for your attention.